So here we are leading the rear front derailleur. Martino has inserted his wire into the frame. Using the other piece of wire with a hook on the end, he's going to go into the internal adaptive routing port in the top of the down tube to fish that wire out of the frame. The hole there is large enough so you can actually see the wire inside the frame, which makes it a lot easier when you need to go fishing. Okay, so once the wire is exited at both sides, you now have access to the entire front derailleur routing from front to back. At this point, you're going to take the Teflon sleeve and feed it over the guide wire until it exits at the front. And then pull your guide wire out. You're going to repeat this process for the front. For the remaining line of the front derailleur, just simply go from front to back, feed that Teflon sleeve over that wire until it exits at the seep tube. So now your front derailleur wire is fully ready. So when it comes time to cable the bike, you can feed your front derailleur cable from the front of the bike until it exits where it needs to be to access the front derailleur. The rear derailleur is going to do the same thing. Enter from the exit of the routing into the down tube and go ahead and fish that wire, that guide wire out of the internal routing port at the top of the down tube. Feed another piece of Teflon sleeve over the guide wire. Till it exits at the front. And then we're going to pull our guide wire out completely. So now the front and rear derailleur cables are fully accessible into the down tube. The next step is going to be the remainder of the rear derailleur cable. We're just going to enter the drive side chain stay. Insert the remainder of the rear derailleur guide wire into the bottom of the bottom bracket until it exits using a fishing tool at the rear of the drive side chain stay. Again, the hole is big enough to see the wire in the frame, which makes it a lot easier to fish out. So once that's in the frame, we're going to fish another piece of guide, wi uh, guide sleeve over the guide wire until it exits at the rear derailleur and pull the guide wire out leaving the sleeve for guide in the frame. Next we're going to run similar idea for the rear brake running through the top tube. So we're going to enter at the front of the top tube we're going to exit at the rear Again, using our hooked fishing tool, visually finding the, the guide wire in the frame, we're going to pull that right out of the top of the frame. There we are. Now for our rear, rear brake sleeve, we're going to be using black Teflon. It's a little higher gauge, a little bit thicker, a little stronger, uh, simply because brake wire is going to be a little bit thicker and stronger as well. So once that's removed, at this point, this is where the frame will arrive to a dealer. So dealers, if you're watching this, this is how the frame should look when you pull it out of the box. This is going to simplify your cable routing, and all you're going to need to do is simply pass the wires where they need to be. Now that the guide sleeves are in the frame, we're now going to show you how to set up this, the actual shifter cable with the parts supplied from Guru. So the piece, the small black piece in Marty's hand is the ferrule that we supply with the frame. Once you've measured out your, uh, your housing, you're going to slide that over the tip of the housing. And then you're also, over the end of that, you're going to slide the additional piece of guide housing supplied by Guru over the black ferrule. And you're going to feed your cable the way you normally would until it exits at the front derailleur. For this one, so there we go. So once it exits, you can go ahead and pull your cable 
into place and then feed the guide sleeve and the ferrule and your housing into the eternal adaptive routing. So if you're routing the frame for DI2 compatibility or electronic shifting, the procedure is a little bit different. You're going to start at the bottom bracket and enter the down tube through the hole accessible inside the down tube in the bottom bracket junction. You're going to feed your lead wire from the bottom bracket forward to where it's going to, using your fishing tools, it's going to exit in the same internal adaptive routing hole at the front. So once your lead wire is in, we use black Teflon sleeve, the heavier duty one, the norm, one we normally use for brake wire. And we're going to feed that over the lead wire until it exits the down tube. And then pull the lead wire out. Now you're going to take your DI2 down tube wire. It's always best to measure your down tube first to identify what length wire you're going to need for your down tube. Obviously a smaller wire and a smaller frame. We generally start with a 1,000 or a 1,200 millimeter wire for our down tubes. Using a piece of masking tape, we're going to install the tip of the electronic wire into the black Teflon hose. And we're going to simply pull the DI2 wire up through the frame until it exits the internal adaptive routing. At this point, it's important to note that your JC41 junction box from Shimano, once it's plugged into the wire in the down tube, is going to be, you know, once you've got all your wires plugged together, that junction box is just going to go right into the down tube in, in the same hole that the DI2 wire was entered into. So everything is fully internal in the frame.